We gotta get ready for your grandpa's 80th birthday dinner. Peter, calm down. He's just your father. Yeah, but I love him. His folksy racism, his I don't care where I am flatulence, and the way it always seems like he's chewing even when there's no food in there. Hi, you did. Francis, it's so good to see you. Lewis, you haven't changed a bit, you lying bitch. <laughs> Francis, why don't you come into the dining room, huh? The table's all set for your birthday dinner. Uh, Lois, actually, Dad said, uh, he would prefer it if you did not join us. Uh, you know, you being a Protestant and all. Um, he said it's okay if you sit at the kids' table. Peter, I cooked the damn dinner. Yeah, you know, I knew you were gonna react like this, and that's why I brought Bill Lumberg to explain it to you. Yeah, I'm gonna need you to go ahead and not complain about this. Oh, and if you could go ahead and sit at the kids' table, that'd be great. I'm just saying, 70s boobs were different, I don't know. You know, it wouldn't kill you to contribute to the conversation. Dad, tell us about World War I and how America defeated Kaiser Permanente. Lois, when are you gonna get that baby baptized? Oh, God, not this again. Francis, why the hell is this always an issue with you? Because I love this family, and I don't want my grandson to burn in hell. I love you, Grandpa. Your toenails are the same color as my school bus. You really think that splashing magic water on Stewie will keep him out of hell? Watch that kind of talk or you'll get your heathen head smacked. Oh, that's very Christian. Believe what I say or I'll hurt you. Now ah, you're getting it. Peter, we have a problem. Hey, hang on, Lois. I'm watching a movie. And now back to Jaws 5, Fire Island. You think we should be this far out? Stop worrying, Mark. We'll be fine. Hey, I'm gonna eat y'all. I'm gonna eat that hairy leg. I'm gonna eat that one, too. Hope I can see right up them shorts. I got a whole bunch of rows of teeth to chew you with. Dinah, Dinah, Dinah. Oh, now, wait a minute. I did have a chubby kid on a raft earlier today. It's okay, though. I've been swimming a lot lately. Mmm, yummy, mmm. Peter, your father won't let up about Stewie getting baptized. I am sick of him always trying to force his religious views on us. All right, I'll talk to him, Lois. But, uh, you know, when my father wants something, it's like sex with Kobe Bryant. You can kick and scream all you want, but it's... it's gonna happen. Dad, what are you doing? There's no cross in here. Every kitchen needs a crucifix. Oh, yes, nothing says eat up like a bleeding half-naked Jew nailed to a piece of wood. Listen, Dad, I, I gotta talk to you. Um... Lois was wondering if maybe you could, uh, I don't know, ease up on the whole, uh, you know, Jesus A, Christ A, if you catch my drift. You're a lapsed Catholic, Peter. Your wife's a Protestant whore, and your baby isn't even baptized. All right, all right, look, Dad, I, I, I don't want you to hate me, all right? So I'll make a deal with you. If we get Stewie baptized, you and all other old people have to acknowledge and be aware that there's crap in the corners of your mouth. I'll think about it. Now let's go. Old people are gross, no matter how cute they try to make them look on Desperate Housewives. Go ahead, switch over to ABC for five seconds. I'll wait. I'll wait five seconds. Oh, my God, did you see? Did you see how old and ugly they are? Oh, my God, that redhead looks like somebody pulled silly putty over their knee. I'm sorry, Mr. Griffin, but I can't baptize little Stewie today. It turns out our last shipment of holy water is tainted. Tainted? Holy water? How would that happen? We'll call you when we get a new shipment in. There's no such thing as tainted holy water. Come on, we'll do it ourselves. Stewie Griffin, I baptize you in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Ghost. And Space Ghost. Uh, what are you doing? Oh, my God, this is almost as bad as my bath with Kathy Bates. Yeah, I think I'm gonna get out. <laughs> 